All right, here I am on the Martha Street Railroad Crossing in Holly, Michigan. Now this one, it's kind of like, you know, uh, kind of a neat chill crossing because this is like around, you know, a park area. But uh, I decided to tour it anyway because this has some pretty neat equipment on it. Or, you know, at least a few other crossings around the Holly area that's owned by the CSX Saginaw subdivision have pretty neat equipment. But this is one of two crossings I decided to tour that are on the CSX Saginaw sub side. But, yeah, I guess with all that said, let's go ahead and get in with the tour. So, for the first signal, this has a Rako base, which is kind of buried deep into the ground. And here's the emergency information and the dot tag. And the dot number is 232-327-N. And then there used to be an old dot tag, unlike probably an old CNO dot tag right here, but obviously it's gone now. But yeah, and then for the lights, this has one pair of WRS 8 inch lights and one pair of Modern Industries 8 inch lights. But yeah, you can see the logo on the side there and on the back there. And then this has no bell on this, but uh, as you can see right here, this has a Rayco junction box, which is interesting. Maybe a, a pair of Rayco 8 inch lights used to be here. But yeah, I guess with all that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next signal. And you can kind of see over there, you know, there's some, there, you can see the Broad Street Railroad Crossing is over there, which is one I just toured earlier. Yeah, this thing is, this crossing is such at an open spot. It's really cool. But here's the next signal, which is somewhat similar to the first. This has a Western Colon Hayes base. And here's emergency information, the dot tag again. And if you look right here, there's an old CNO dot tag with, you know, pretty much the same number. And then for the lights on this one, this has one and a half pairs of Western Colon Hayes 8 inch lights and one WRS 8 inch light. But yeah, pretty interesting. Interesting there. And these all sit on a WRS junction box. And then for the bell, this has an NEG electronic bell, which is pretty interesting. Yep. Never thought I would see a NEG e bell on any of these crossings. You'd think it would be like a general type 1 or type 2. But yeah. So that's the crossing for you, and that's the crossing for you, and let's take a look at the track view. Actually, let me back up in case a car turns in here. Down there is heading towards more crossings, and pretty much this is pointing towards, you know, Flint and other cities. And, uh, hold on. And down there, you can probably see, like, a whistle post. This heads right towards the diamond where the CSX Saginaw sub and the CN Holly sub cross, and you can see some, like, old abandoned spur tracks protruding around. And, you know, I know that these two cross because right down there you can see the Broad Street Crossing, which is a crossing that I just toured earlier. But, yeah, this is the Martha Street Railroad Crossing in Holly, Michigan. Kind of surprised to see such, you know, short mass signals in, like, a little neighborhood slash park setting like this. You know, pretty cool with, interest, with vintage equipment, too. Well, not vintage, but, like, old equipment. But, yeah, over and out.